Hi, welcome back. We are going to run here this uh, system. We're on virtual box. We have Arch Cinnamon installed. We just followed 12 or so screens to install Cinnamon. And actually we have an Arch based on Telegos system now at our uh, uh, available, let's say. And we have installed all kinds of scripts coming from this GitHub. Eric Dubois on Telegos Cinnamon. Why? Well, because or you do it manually, line per line, or you put it in a file and you just run it. I prefer to put it in a file and run it. So that's been done. That's another tutorial. You close it. And now we're going to tune it. So we have all the necessary applications to customize our Cinnamon settings. First off, it's a nice um, wallpaper but I have this program variety installed via the scripts we're talking about and we can change the wallpaper on startup and so on and so on check out the settings because um, there is a tutorial on Eric Dubois with I think about 15 or 16 tips just about variety when you go over this icon that's one of the tips well you get all these kinds of different possibilities and now we have already a better uh, wallpaper let's stick with one I do like until now okay nature is always good let's take this one then this menu this menu people would want to see what are you on otherwise we get these questions what are you on well we can change the icon as you can see here we can change it just by clicking here but just the name is already something interesting to tell people, look, people, we are on Targus Cinnamon. So you don't get these uh, questions when you post an, uh, an image, a desktop example. So that's that. Open the menu when I move my mouse over it. You can do that. I rather click, but it's up to you. And so on. So a lot of possibilities here. And we can already do this, but let's not jump ahead. So this is already done. A new name what else so we are in the menu you can see you can navigate through it and let's go out of here and let's start putting the important stuff in here and the panel and all that so we can go to preferences all the way down themes that's quite an important one so we're booting it but let's put it also right mouse click to the favorites it's here now I'd rather put it on the top like so like so is better tweak tool maybe as well but let's go and check first this one out themes we can change so this is the standard uh, which is nice which is beautiful but i've already installed some other stuff so the art dark and have a lot of icons installed the savvy icons savvy monocolora for instance and arc dark again and as well arc dark here <coughs> and there you go we have now this arc dark look everywhere you like it you hate it it's just a choice you have lots of other choices you can go for arc which is more the white kind of look but you should change this also to arc then like so and so on so many choices, it's up to you what you choose. It's also a very personal choice. I've also installed Breeze Snow. I like this little white icon here. So this is my way of pointing to stuff. So the, the Breeze Snow cursor. That's that. So we have our icons. You can show icons in menu, show icons and buttons. It's all a question of choice let's uh, change that one also to dark forgot that one everything to arc dark three elements three things to set okay <coughs> what else can we do we can for instance install the plank it's now down here I take the left control on my keyboard pressing it I take the right mouse click pressing it and then you activate this preferences then you can say I want it on the top 
and I want this icon zoom when I go over it it zooms out and in people from the Mac will know what it did looks like there were, were no default themes installed so let's fix also a script so you see me fix something as well in these scripts so data on Tedco cinnamon we have installed and we used all these scripts but here are the 300 install themes icon cursor and so on display Ooh, ugly color and let's put that out of the way preferences fonts I like oblivion I like it to be bigger for you and for me like so and down here I said do not install blank I'm gonna change that to do install blank save right and then go here and tell them to install the blank blank themes so blank themes installed and they will pop up here once of course once I have right mouse uh, control uh, left right mouse click pref ah sorry about again preferences and then you have hundred or so of these possible looks and you check out what you like when looking at this wallpaper so and the wallpaper has changed maybe you should change this also the, the look now <laughs> let's keep this one so that's blank but blank will not boot next time so you type in start you go to startup applications and you tell very easy a very beautiful a way of doing it you either use a command or an application and the application just start, start typing and there it is blank app application nice work guys from linux mint because cinnamon is from linux mint 18.1 cinnamon is at this point of time in time but there are already articles about what we'll see in 18.2 so we will wait for the release so that's that we install that as well often you'll see me having a conky why because i have this conky that i made and or or gathered Control h is a way to view things show hidden files Control h and we have this aureola when we run the scripts and you should run the script otherwise you don't have this file and now you have one two here 17 icons uh, conkeys you can install and i suggest you start with acres because acres is the one that needs the most of the program so everything gets installed then and it's a lot of communication between you because it wants to install programs you have to let them install programs spotify is not yet activated and all that in sync is not yet installed so commands have not been found but anyhow you see already what's the intention the uptime the cpu temperature should be fixed because i'm in vmware now eh? by virtual box so he thinks uh, well he, he finds it he tries to find stuff that's not there basically so cinnamon is taking away 1.5 1.9 percent of my cpu so cinnamon is this kind of look that we're having nemo is a file manager and a conky etc etc so can you, you can follow up what happens on your download site and all that so these programs of course dropbox in sync spotify should be installed otherwise it will not work i think we're pretty much there that's the basic stuff i'll do I'll probably change as well this icon here so why not do that at the same time we should now go to home control H we should not go to Ariola because that's just a, a mother load so the basis where everything is but when can conky starts it starts actually a file in the dot config conky so the program conky will look is there something in here and if it's named conf it'll run it so conky conf is the file 
and the Linux Mint is here with design but I do believe I have also something called Antergos and when we save it we have this little nice uh, nice icon up here you see every distribution gets its own icon right last thing maybe maybe I'll find in the meantime something else so this is a logo the logo is standard did not have to do anything for it it's just this one here but what if Control H you installed lots of icons which I have we have lots of Sardi icons as you can see and also surfing icons we should check that out as well so in the Sardi icons you have Sardi and scalable and places and you scroll all the way down and you take back here from start here all these icons are intended to be on the in the start menu so in your solos some abstract some for mate and this one I like very much this is the one for Linux Mint but we're on Tergos so that's not a good idea you like maybe the, this little foot some abstract a circle arch would be a good choice because uh, it is arch based um, but you can take any of these abstract like this one for instance and then we have this little menu here on Tergos Cinnamon so any of those or any any icon uh, you can put in there and in the meantime variety is uh, so polite to change the wallpaper uh, surfing surfing with uh, we should show you that as well so we have Sardi icons but at the bottom S like the surfing Umix Polo icon as you can see it's a completely different kind of icon set and it's also working just fine now you see it well you have the the surfing icon themes and you have different kind of folders so that's the only thing that happens so these folders is a mint x gray folder uh, so sorry that's sadly if you like the numix folders then you have the numix folders together with the surfing icons and so they combine if you can combine any of the surfing application icons with any of the pom -pom -pom evil pop folders so you can just combine the folder you like with the folder you like with the application icons from surfing so that's that you can check that out as well um, Sadi Orb Numix, let's, let's keep that one. Arc Dark, Breeze Snow, Arc Dark, I told everything here. Maybe I could go into detail of what I do on this thing here. There are some stuff that I do change. Fonts, I make them probably a little bigger, but we did install Noto and we can install Noto Sans regular let's go up it's this one with 11 and if you do that and install it like Moto Sans regular then you'll get the, the same kind of look I don't think it's exactly the same but very very similar look that they have on um, Linux Mint which is quite beautiful so I really like my Noto font and the rest you can keep as well but of course if you have well a bit, a bit of uniformity Noto sounds regular again a typo like so a bit bigger is welcome maybe 13 is a bit too much let's have a look and then like so and then this one here is a bit smaller so that's something I will change themes with done effects is just for fun if you want other effects opening closing and so on you can customize it it's great it's it's, in, it's fantastic but well it's uh, it's okay when coming out of the box like this uh, for the rest desktop 
if you want elements show desktop icons on all man monitors is the one I take I don't want these but I do want to be able to right mouse click and create new folder and do stuff and then move it to the place to, to keep it on Dropbox or Google Drive or anything ah yeah uh, extension there is one extension I really really like and that's this one and it works opacify windows installer update selected then you go to the installed it's here right mouse click add to cinnamon blah 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 yes and the fun is when you move something about it's opaque and that's quite nice and neat for the rest i used to use hot corners but not anymore preferred applications is maybe something you'd like to say i want this to use sorry and i want that to use okay LibreOffice, forget it uh, mostly most of the time i'm working on sublime text so i want this one to be the one to for documents and also for plain text and so on a sam player is great but maybe you like just one of the others and so on that's interesting screensaver is only interesting if you do not want it to work so delay before starting I never unlock the computer when put to sleep no uh, no okay like so and then this one it bugs me really maximize instead of tile when dragging a window to the top edge if it does this you get half of it and I don't like that but it's half of it so I want this when I put it on the top that it's completely filled so full so that's a nice one that I always use and then windows not really but do check it out just might be interesting to have a cover flow or time 3d going from alt tab that's uh, what we used to get in uh, other other operation system I just won't, don't, won't say the name in other well power management is the one I keep also turn off the screen when inactive don't turn off the screen or maybe later suspend when active never and this one I really like some of the distros do not have it I really want to shut down so that's for the evening you press the power button you leave the room and it's going to shut down immediately so that's also an interesting option a wallpaper I don't like so let's scroll over the icon here there you go I hope um, I've explained some of the possibilities of the cinnamon in general and uh, you can put your elements here or I didn't show it that one but you can put for instance FileZilla Firefox right mouse click to the panel so it's here it's double now right mouse click again and you can delete it again if it won't work as piece as first so that's the none let's try to do it again how do I get it remove panel launcher is not the way to go that's strange remove okay new version latest version of cinnamon I suppose Control alt T I want to know ah terminal is not good 3.2.8 okay that's why then uh, the terminal is not good mm hmm you like these terminals that are transparent okay you can do so but not here uh-huh what should we do you go to the download from Eric Dubois on the github and there is this little program and actually the only thing you should know is the name GNOME Terminal Transparency okay so you do Control alt T we install together Packer Yahoo will work as well if I type it correctly Yahoo but I'm gonna for Packer and then I'm gonna say GNOME Transparent but I because I forgot already the name do type it correct GNOME Transparent 
It's quite okay, only eight to figure out. Gnome transparent, gnome transparent, gnome transparent. Nope, we are not in luck. So we really need should name or should uh, transparency. And then we have it. So as you can see, it's quite tricky. If you do not know the name, it's gonna be difficult. So just put it in scripts and then you don't have to remember it. So use number one. And now we're gonna see the beauty of installations. It's gonna be, oops, sorry. It's gonna be terrific, geeky. All these terminal things, downloading and compiling and installing and asking me to edit stuff. No, I don't want to edit. I don't understand. Whatever, do it. And how is it compiling all this? And in a bit we'll have the GNOME transparent. And my eye just fell on this little icon. We'll have um, in Antergos PAMAC. We can update or we can use it as a package manager. But it's actually the way to tell you, look, your Antergos is not up to date anymore and you can you're able to install it you can change some preference here as well and you can tell them don't show me anything remove unrequired dependencies check available disk space check for updates official repositories uh, AUR and the cache so some of these things you can change and that's your system telling you're not up to date anymore and it does you get this nice little notification and then you install the updates or you just type sudo space uh, pacman minus s y u and there you are also updated and all of the aur programs will need another update um, in the command prompt it will need packer minus s so space minus s why you now he says look you have two things here what do you want to keep gnome terminal transparency or gnome terminal remove gnome terminal yes so the standard one is the big one no so you do enter it's no so yes i want to get rid of the one and i want to install the other one hoping for the best we close the gnome terminal gnome this as well right mouse click open in terminal Control alt t Keyboard shortcuts, another thing to explain. Profile, uh, first preferences, no menu bar, close. Then profile preferences, custom font is done. And what do we find here? Transparent background. And now we see this lovely lady, like so. Hello. So this GNOME terminal is now fine. Let's do again with Control alt t and even the ball the bar up here is gone the scroll bar is still there so if you do not want the scroll bar as well we should go to scrolling no scroll bar and now it's the mouse the scroll uh, button of your mouse that scrolls which i prefer so this is now our transparent gnome and a little neofetch for the people yes we are an arch no it's antergos um, screen fetch, let's try this one. Screen fetch gets it correct. As you can see, this is more or less the icon from uh, Antergos. Let's take another wallpaper, my dear. You are messing with my design. Like so, you see the Antergos uh, icons coming up. So we're on Antergos, ISO rolling, so it's a rolling release. 4.9.11 so this is the latest one only i don't know four days old so we're on cinnamon 3.28 arc dark we have the savvy or pneumix and we did change the font and i was thinking of explaining something else i've forgotten i have forgotten it but it uh, Few minutes ago i told you about sudo pacman minus syu this is the one you should remember so that's upgrading updating 
your system, which is after clean install quite up to date. Packer minus S is the AUR packaging update, and it has an extra line as you can see AUR. So this is already also checked, and you get um, that as well. I think I forgot something, but never mind. There's still lots of to this, lots of things to discover and to do, but otherwise the tutorial will be too long. Enjoy your cinnamon and enjoy Antergos.